guys. Right here is a Western Diamondback rattlesnake. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can get him out for you. Come here, little buddy. Come on. Let me set him down right here for you. Now this snake right here, like I said, is the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. This is Crotalus atrox. This is the most widespread and the longest rattlesnake that we have here in the state of Texas. He goes from about Central Texas all the way to West Texas, and he covers the majority of the Southwestern states all across the United States. He's pretty much a very common rattlesnake if you were to go snake hunting. You see them all over the place, and they're known for their diamonds. That's why they call them the diamond back. They got these clearly defined diamonds going all the way down their back, and then right there towards the tip of their tail, it tapers off into a beautiful zebra-like pattern. It goes into white with black bands encircling it. And you can hear him right now. This is why he gets his name Rattlesnake. What that is is just hardened scales, and each time he sheds, all it does is add one rattle each time that he sheds one. And so it just grows throughout his life. And yeah, it can be ripped off, but the good thing is he can always go grow a new one unless his tail actually gets cut off. Um, they're amazing snakes, and their venom is pretty dang bad to the bone, too. These guys actually claim the most lives in the state of Texas. And while that's not a huge number, they do bite plenty of people, mainly just because they are so widespread and common. But they are pretty dang docile for the most part, unless you go and press onto them. They're not ones to just attack you for nothing. It's more or less you coming up on them, surprising them, or stepping on them. You can see right here, I mean, he's rattling at me and he's looking at me, but in no way is he chasing at me, in no way is he, he being the aggressor at this at all. He's being just himself, watching himself, making sure that he's fine, and he's just defending his life. They all, pretty much all snakes are like this, and all rattlesnakes specifically, the majority of them will sit here and just defend themselves. These guys pretty much control a lot of the rodent population and rabbits out here in the state of Texas. There's tons of rabbits over here in West Texas, and these dudes do a great job of controlling them. And they also give live birth, and the babies are just so cute, and they usually are a lot more vivid than the adults. And one thing I've noticed about the babies, too, is they really don't know much about danger. Like, they'll be sitting there just crawling around on the ground, and whenever I come over to catch them, some of them barely even rattle, some of them rattle, but the majority of them don't even strike. It's like they haven't quite developed that, that instinct to defend themselves against larger predators, and so they kind of seem oblivious and naive to predators. And it's just a crazy thing to see the babies have that type of attitude, mainly just because these snakes are so notorious for a beastly bad to the bone reputation. Not these guys. I mean, you can see he's just defending himself. He's not gonna mess with me unless I mess with him, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So we're gonna let him go on his way, let him just mosey on and about, and uh, we'll praise God for this guy because he's definitely a beautiful rattlesnake and kind of a testament of Texas because a lot of people call this guy the Texas rattlesnake. And uh, they could, mainly just because they're found all over the state. So got to love this dude. See you later, Western Diamondback.